Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are back again with a new video. So in this video, we are going to create a GUI calculator using Tkinter module. So let's start with this. So here in the first line, this line imports Python built-in GUI library, which is Tkinter and gives the alias Tk. It allows us to create windows, buttons and GUI elements. Then here in the next line, this defines a new class called calculator to group all calculator logic and GUI components. So in this class, we'll group all the calculator logic and all the GUI components. Then here, what we do is the constructor method. It's called when an object calculator is created and root is the main window passed from outside where the GUI will appear. So here self.root, this stores the root window reference inside the class for the further use and self.root.title, this sets a suitable title for this window. And self.root.geometry, this resize the window both horizontally and vertically. And self.root.resizable, this resize the window both horizontally and vertically. And self.expression, it is a string to hold the current mathematical expression entered by the user. Then here, self.input text, this in this line, string variable is a special tkinter variable that automatically updates the entry widgets when changed. And then in this line, so here it creates a frame contained inside the root window for the input field with a height of 50px and light gray background as mentioned. And here the packs add the input frame into the window and makes it fill both horizontally and vertically which is as much needed. Then in the next line here, here what we do is this creates an input entry box for showing user input and output. So in this text variable, is equals to self dot input text this links the entry to the string where so updates are automatic and justify is equals to write here this aligns text to the right like a real calculator and bd is equals to 10 this is border width and relief is equals to tk dot flat this makes the border flat slight and here we use the font which is arial and size is 24 bold and here self.inputField.pack, this adds the entry widget to the input frame with padding space around it. And now we'll create the buttons. So this self.button frame, this creates the pack, another frame that will hold the calculator buttons. And self.createButton calls the createButtons method that actually creates and arranges all the buttons. And now here dev create buttons. This creates a list of tuples, each representing a row of calculator buttons. As you can see, this is a row of calculator buttons in a list of tuples. Then here in this for loop, here for each button in a row, this creates a button with a label button.txt and here command is equals to lambda x button this ensures that when a button is clicked, its label is passed to the on button click function. And here button.pack, here this adds the button to the row frame and expand is equals to true. This makes the button expand and fit well. And padding x and padding y add space between the buttons. Now in this method, this method is called whenever a button is clicked. And here care is used is is the label of the button when it is pressed then here in the if statement if the c button is clicked it clears the expression or if backspace is clicked it removes the last characters if equals is clicked it uses eval evaluate to evaluate the math expression if an error ex occurs for example, invalid input, it shows an error. Else, for any other button, it simply adds the character to the current expression. And here, self.inputText.set, this updates the input field with the current expression for result. And finally, the code that starts the GUI is this. So here, 
root is equals to tk dot tk this creates the main window calculator root this creates an instance of the calculator class and passes the window and root dot main loop starts the gui event loop waiting for the user action like button click and all so let's see what output does it create so as you can see this is the output so let's perform some calculations in this so as we add 75 plus 32 and we gets its result so this is how we create advanced gui calculator using tkinter in python so thanks for watching this video